How you doing everybody, Nick here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to automate your tempo and time signature changes in Ableton Arrangement View. Let's go. Okay, I have a brand new live set open here and the default setting always opens up in Session View. So let's get over to Arrangement View by hitting our tab button on the computer keyboard and bang, you have Arrangement View open. Default settings are always 120 BPM. You can see it over here on the top left and four, four time. So in order to put in a tempo and or time signature change, it's super simple. I mean, really simple. Up here in this section, you'll see I'm grabbing the loop bars, just kind of showing you this section. We're not gonna loop anything right now, just, but it's this gray area, just the tracks in right underneath the numbers. In here, you can put a few different things. So when you're in that area, hit control on your computer keyboard. This is sort of like right clicking, okay? If you have a mouse that right clicks, it'll do the same thing. And then click in this area. When I click, I can add a locator, which are very useful for other things, or I can insert a time signature change, just like that, bang. You just tell it what you want it to do. I don't know, let's put in six four. Enter. Now it's in six four. You can see the grid change, right? See the grid got wider because it's six quarter notes per beat instead of four. Do that for two bars over here, bar number nine. Ooh, hit stop. Bar number nine, I'm gonna do the same thing. Right click and let's make this, I don't know, seven, eight. See the grid change. Do that for a couple of bars. At bar 11, we're gonna go back to four, four four slash four, enter. And then we'll do that for a couple bars and bar 13, we'll make it, I don't know, how about something crazy, 13, eight. Get nutty, all right? And that's it. So now I'll go back, I'll start from the beginning and I'm just gonna turn the metronome on. You're not gonna hear any audio or drum grooves or anything like that. You're just gonna hear the metronome and the click track for this demonstration, okay? Turn that on, go back to the beginning and when it gets to Bar number five, it's gonna go from four, four at 120 to six, four at 120. Here we go. Here it comes. That's it, that's all there is to it. You put the time signature changes wherever you want in your song just by right clicking in this gray area up here. Now, if you want to erase any, just highlight the little triangle and hit delete, that goes away. I brought it back by hitting Command Z. If you wanna move it, if it's not the right bar, but you've already typed it in, all you have to do is grab the triangle and move it. Okay, drag it back and forth wherever you want. So I'm gonna put that at bar seven. Okay, and now I'm gonna do four, four at bar nine. So these changes happen quickly and the 13.8 will happen at bar 11. And just to go back to 4.4 as a normal thing, oh, I'm gonna hit stop there at bar 13. Bar 13, we'll go back to 4.4, just to make it round it all out, get back to normal, as they say, right? There you go. So now you've made your time signature changes, but we also wanna make some tempo changes. And that's really easy to do, and you do that through automation. You turn the automation on right over here above your track names. There's a left and right arrow, a, a button that says set, and then there's a tool right next to this lock button as well. You turn that tool on, now automation is on and ready to be manipulated. In order to change the tempo, you do that in your master track. Master is down here at the bottom. I'm gonna make it big so we can see what's going on. I'm also gonna close the edit window, make some more space for us. There we go, I can make this even bigger now. Nice. So it's in Mixer, it already says song tempo, but if you hit Mixer, that's what we're in. There's other things you can automate in here as well, right? Track volume, track panning, all kinds of stuff, but we're in tempo. So when you turn automation on inside of Ableton, you'll notice that it has a broken red line. As Soon as you click on it, the line becomes solid. You'll also know that you turn the automation on because the red dots over in whatever track you're working in, those dots turn on as well. So now you know the automation's on. So I put in, I clicked on beat number three. That's an anchor point there. I'm going to click another anchor point right next to it. And then whenever I move it up and down, it will change. And you can drag it to wherever you want. If I dragged it way over here to beat number, 
I don't know, nine, this would be a gradual tempo change from 120 up to 150, but I want it to change right on beat number three. So I just move that anchor point over to beat number three and it will change to 150 or BPM, point two, or wherever, any number you want, right? So it will go two bars from beat number three to beat number four. I'm gonna put another point at beat number five and then one right next to it and I'm gonna drag that back down to, I don't know, let's see, 108. And then at beat number six, we're gonna put an anchor point there and then we're gonna go directly up to 185 for one bar, <laughs> sorry. Then at beat number seven, I'm gonna put an anchor point there. Then we'll do a gradual tempo change here from beat number seven to beat number nine, go down to whatever we want. How about 136.7, cool. Then we'll do a gradual tempo change from that to our 13.8. And once we get to 13.8 at bar number 11, it's going to go, we're going to go all the way up to 195.6. We're going to do that for a little while, but make another anchor point there, drop it down to 158. And then back at bar number 13, we're going to go to our normal default setting, put an anchor point right on that bar line, and then one right next to it. And let's get it back down to 120. And that's it. So you've put your time signature changes up here. In this area, that tells Ableton to change the time signature at that point. And then you also wrote in all kinds of tempo changes just by turning on the automation for tempo in the master track, clicking on it wherever you want, setting the tempo however you want. And this is what it's gonna sound like with my crazy little demonstration here. Start from the beginning and here we go. And up and back home to 120 BPM in 4-4 time. Hopefully you can tell how easy and simple it is to change the time signatures and to manipulate your tempo in Ableton Live's arrangement view. You just need to know where these parameters are located. When you're a new user, that's the hardest part is to know where these things are. So again, turn on your automation with this tool right over here. Type in your time signature changes in this gray area by right clicking or control clicking and telling it what time signature you want it to play at that particular point in the song. And then go down here to your master track and write in whatever tempo changes you want to do. And there you go. That's how you automate your time signature and tempo changes in Ableton's arrangement view. I hope you found this tutorial you know, helpful and easy and fun. And I hope you keep making music with Ableton Live. Thanks a lot, everybody. See you again soon.